I'm Ryo Ishida. I'm a 29-year-old businessman. I hate it going to work these days. She's causing me such a headache. Two weeks ago, we had this little get-together at work, and... One of my colleagues at Tuwari said to me, Why are you still single, Mr. Ishida? You're not that bad looking, and you make decent money. Do you have a terrible personality or something? Or maybe a weird fetish? Huh? Uh, I don't think so. Ishida, you should get married already! She's worried about you! <laughs> yeah, man! Uh, so annoying. There's gotta be a reason that you can't get married. You'll probably stay single forever. The thing is, I've always wanted to get married. I was almost 30, so I was kind of in a rush. So I didn't appreciate her talking to me like this. But ever since the get-together, she started making fun of me for being single almost every day. It's Friday. Why are you still here? You must have no life. I want to finish my work before Monday, that's all. You must have no plans on the weekends. I feel so bad for you. Want me to hang out with you? <laughs> uh, no thanks. Uh... You're so stubborn. Oh, whatever, that's probably why you're still single. I gotta go. Bye! Ugh, she's so annoying! What's her problem? Seriously. I was pretty frustrated. So I decided to take action. Mom, remember that girl you were talking to me about a few months ago? The one from your flower arrangement class or something? I want to see her. Oh, really? All right, I'll call her. But you haven't even seen her picture. Y you sure? Yeah, you think she's good for me, right? Yeah, she's really pretty. I think she'd be great for you. Not sure why she's still single, but <laughs> she's really cute and nice. All right, I trust you, Mom. She lost her parents to a car accident five years ago, so she must be lonely. But she doesn't show it. She's always so cheerful. I want to meet her! All right, I'll call her and set something up. Then it was Monday again. Uh, what did you do this weekend? Uh, let me guess, nothing. Can you stop already? And not that it's any of your business, but I'm seeing someone next weekend, so... Huh? Stop bothering me, okay? But uh, who? None of your business. If all goes well, I'll be married in no time. Just stop bothering me, please. Ugh. Then that weekend, I met up with the girl. She was really pretty. Hello, I'm Yuria Yamagishi. Thank you so much for making the time to see me. Oh, you look really nice. It's so good to see you in person. Hey, I'm Ryo Ishida. It's nice to meet you too. She looks really nice. After that, we went into a cafe to grab some coffee. She was so cheerful. I liked her a lot. I really enjoyed talking to her. Hey, um, you think we can do this again sometime? Of course. I was going to ask you the same thing, but I was kind of nervous. I'd love to see you again. She's so honest. I feel safe around her. Monday. Itsuwari came out to me again, but she no longer bothered me. So, how did it go, huh? I bet she was really ugly. She was beautiful, actually. I had a wonderful time with her. I bet she's just after your money. Can you stop already? You don't even know her. I like her a lot, okay? We started seeing each other on the weekends. Then she invited me over to her house. You're such a nice person, Vio. I still can't believe that you're still single. Your mother said that? Oh. You too. You're the most beautiful person I know. My mom said the same exact thing about you. The more I got to know her, the more I liked her. She was the one for me. Yeah. She said you were the prettiest girl she knew. But then one weekend, when I was out on a date with her, 
Mr. Ishida, what are you doing here? You want a date or something? I thought you were lying this whole time. Hello, I'm Yamagishi. You know Ryo? Ryo, why is she calling him by his first name? Yeah, she's a colleague of mine. She's all good for you, Mr. Ishida. I bet she's got a terrible personality. Hey, what's your problem? You know nothing about her. She's a wonderful person. She's probably lying to you. You barely have any experience with women, so... Why is she like this to me? She knows nothing about me. I really enjoy spending time with her, okay? Leave us alone. Stop it already. We're going. Come on, let's go. She's lying to you. I just know it. You shouldn't marry her. I'm telling you. That's enough. I try to turn around, but then... Ah, I get it now. This guy I know. He's just like you. He's always bugging me about being single for some reason. That's why I decided to meet with Vio to shut him up. Furious said to her. Huh? It all makes sense now. That guy, he likes me. That's why he was saying all those mean things to me. You like Vio, don't you? It's pretty obvious. Right? That's why you're doing all this. Huh? I... Uh, he's mine. Back off. People like you make me sick. If you like him, why didn't you just say so? Whatever. He's mine. Give it up. I... I met him first, and... Look, I've always wanted to get married. So I was kind of in a rush. Then you came along and started harassing me. It was really annoying. I don't like you, Itsuari. I had no idea you were going through the same thing. That must have been really annoying. I know how it feels. Thanks for telling me. Of course. He owns this restaurant. His dad used to own the place and I always went there as a kid, but... After he took over, he's been harassing me non-stop. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. What did he say to you? He said I was single because I couldn't cook. He also said that nobody would want to marry me since both my parents are dead. That's horrible. Yeah. Can you come with me next time? Of course. As long as you introduce me as your boyfriend. Of course. His dad was really good to me, but I haven't been there in a while, so... He probably is worried about me. I thought about telling him about his son, but I didn't know how to. The old owner was really good to her. She knew him since she was a child. When she lost her parents in the car accident, he was there for her. When my parents died, I couldn't eat for a while, but he cooked for me every day and he helped me get back on my feet. I see. All right, let's go there next weekend then. After that, Itsuari stopped bothering me at work. Thank goodness. I can't believe she liked me, though. Whatever. Sunday, Yuri and I went to the restaurant. Oh, long time no see! It's been like two months! Who's that? My boyfriend. Boyfriend? You are always bugging me about being single. That's why I stopped coming here. But now I got a boyfriend, so here I am. Uh, he definitely liked her. I could tell from the look on his face. He started glaring at me. So you're going out with her, huh? Yeah, she told me this place was great. You sure about her? She might be pretty, but she can barely cook. How do you know? Did she ever cook for you? She's actually a really good chef. She's cooked for me many times at her house. You went to her house? Yeah. And today I'm gonna propose to her. What? Huh? I know it's only been a few months, but I love you. Will you marry me? Yes, of course. She said yes. That was such a relief. Phew. I thought you were going to say no. It's only been a few months, so... 
Why would I? I'm so happy. What a crappy ring. You must be really poor. Whatever. You two make a great couple, I guess. Whatever. Now you can't bother her for being single anymore. Hey, what are you doing? You can't treat our customers like that. What's wrong with you? Sir. Yuria, I'm so sorry about my idiot son. And congratulations about your marriage. Sir, sorry about this. Oh, it's okay. Then the old owner grabbed his son's arm and dragged him back into the kitchen. The other staff told me everything. He's been doing this to you for a while now, right? I had no idea. I'm terribly sorry. I know it doesn't make it right, but dinner's on us tonight. And here, I got you guys a cake. Congratulations. Thank you. I really miss this place. I thought my son was ready to run this place, but I was wrong. From now on, I'll be running things around here, so you don't have to worry about him anymore, okay? After that, we started going there every other week or so. I haven't seen his son around in a while. I wonder what happened to him. No idea, but whatever. I'm just glad he's gone. What an idiot. If he liked her, he should have just said so. Back at the office, when I told my boss that I was getting married, Itsuwari started crying. I guess she really liked me, but... I could never go out with someone like that. So beautiful! Sir! She looks amazing, doesn't she? Oh, Leo, stop it. You look good, too. Never lie to yourself. Be true to your heart. That's my motto. And so we got married and lived happily ever after. Glad everything worked out. If you like someone, you should just tell them that you like them. It's not good to beat around the bush and try to keep it secret in a mean way. Just be honest and upfront with yourself. How did you guys like today's story? Please share your thoughts in the comment section below. See you tomorrow. Bye bye Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications.